Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a fun pet profile. Pff, move blankets. Move blankets. A fun pet profile with Alistair to Kitty. Um, I found some questions and I wrote up some of my own um, because I thought this would be fun. Oh. So the first question is what is his name? And um, Al <laughs> his name is Alistair. 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 Look at me. Look at me. Alistair. There we go. So his name is Alistair. And he got his name from a character in... Um, <laughs> uh, he got his name from a character in Dragon Age. The first one. Hi, handsome buddy. Um, second question is what type breed, fur type, color, etc. is he? So he is a domestic uh, long-haired cat and that is basically cat language for a mutt. Um, he is of unknown origins and mixed breeds. Buddy. Buddy. He's not wanting to look at me. Um, his fur type is long-haired satin so it has a nice shine to it and it's really really soft. Um, and his color, he's a bi-colored black and white cat, um, and his fur pattern is a standard, there's, there's a bird outside, I know it, <laughs> um, a standard tuxedo, um, which means his head, um, back and tail are all black, and then his underbelly and his paws are white, and for him he also has a little white on his face, that is his mustache. What are you doing, goofy baby? What are you doing? Alistair, what are you doing? Is there a bird? Are you going to get the bird? One of these days you'll get that bird. Um, how long have you had had him? Uh, he, I've had him for a year and a half now. I adopted him September 27th, um, 2013. And yeah, my precious baby. Let's see. How old are they? Uh, he is two years old. His projected birthday is February 2012. He's two years old. He turned two years old this past February. Um, so, 2013. So, his birthday was February 2013. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how did you get them? I adopted him from a local pet shelter. Um, he had been found in a box um, and had been abandoned by his previous owner. Um, apparently he had gotten just a little too big for their liking. When I adopted him he was like eight months old, seven months old, um, and he was already the size of a, a full grown house cat. Um, and he just got bigger. He's a very big cat. He's a large, big man cat. Oh, he's looking at the leaves. I don't know if you guys can see them, but he's looking. Oh, this came is actually rather nice. He's looking at the leaves. Alrighty. Um, but yes, I adopted him. Um, I have his certificate and everything. Uh, although, when I adopted him, I thought I was adopting an adult cat. Um, lo and behold, I was adopting a kitten. A really, really big kitten. And even now, at two years of age, he's still technically a juvenile. He won't be a full adult cat until, I think, three years of age. So, uh, favorite toys. His, so, his favorite toys in the world are hair ties, which you will find scattered throughout the household. Are you going to jump back over? You can do it. You can do it. It's not that far. I believe in you. Yeah. Oh no, he was getting his toys. And then I have a smattering of toys on the bed um, because we're, I was playing with him. So he likes his soft um, toys, but particularly feathery toys. Um, this poor guy, I just recently found out is losing his stuffing. Um, so I'll either have to sew that back up or at least pull out all the stuffing. But yeah, so long as it has feathers and twirly bits, uh, he loves it. He also really likes, um, oh, what is it called? Ribbons. He loves ribbons um, and plastic bags. He will tear up a plastic bag. And like any good cat, he also likes boxes. Don't you? 
Don't you? You get way excited whenever a box comes home. <laughs> there is something outside that just has his attention. I don't open that window all the way all the time, so he's probably just like, wow, it's so bright. Yeah, handsome baby. Handsome baby. Um, the next question is personality. Um, he's a bit of a dick. Uh, <laughs> he's he's a good he's a good boy most of the time. Um, sometimes he's purposely petulant. Um, his tail is going. Are you upset? Are you excited? Are you playful? What's going on? I'm still understanding cat tails. I don't at all. I just know that if you're petting them and their tail starts to twitch, you should probably stop. Um, but yeah, he's a bit, he, he will purposely do things if you tell him not to do them. Um, other than that, he's very playful, incredibly hyperactive. He loves playing, loves it. Um, he will, <laughs> during certain times of the day, he will run around the house full blast, r r absolutely reckless. Um, and yeah, super hyperactive, super playful. And that could be just because he's still a kitten. Um, he doesn't like being held. He doesn't, he's not a lap kitty at all. Um, he is definitely a, a predator kitty. Predator kitty. Um, also, hit some of his favorite, or part of his, uh, actually I'm just going to go on. The next question is also weird quirks, so I'm going to add that to him. Um, weird quirks is he doesn't, he's not a lap kitty. He doesn't particularly like being petted all the time. He certainly doesn't want to be on your lap. He that's, that's, <laughs> you little shit. That is, that is, you have all of these toys and you're going for the one thing that is not yours. Um, <laughs> so goofy. Uh, when he, when he wants to play with a hair tie, he's, that's what the only time he's really nice. And for food, oh my God, he will be so nice to you for food. Um, but yeah, he'll, very delicately tap on you and like rub his head against you. Now, when I say he doesn't like being petted, I mean he doesn't like being held and pet. Um, he is perfectly fine with you scratching him occasionally. Right now, he's too playful to be scratched. Um, and h when you first come home, if you've been at work or been out, he'll roll over in his belly and get belly rubs. And he's, you know, he he does like being touched. He just doesn't like being held too much, which is a pity because I just loved holding him because he's so soft. Some of his weird quirks, he loves, I, well, this is not a weird quirk, he's a predator animal, so he loves watching the hamster, he loves watching the rats, and when I had one of my friends visit um, a couple weeks ago, we moved the rat and the hamster into the, or the rats and the hamsters into the bathroom, um, you know, just, just because they're nocturnal and she was sleeping out in the living room and we didn't want to disturb her, and Alistair had a fit. Oh good, he's being so cute. Alistair had an absolute fit because he could not watch the animals and he was like super worried for them which is weird because I'm pretty sure he wants to eat them at least the hamster I'm sure he wants to eat a hamster um, he also likes weird foods he only eats the tops off of biscuits and he will open a cabinet door for a biscuit you are so cute no 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 go get it uh, let's see some other he's very talkative um, particularly when you're around the food area and in the kitchen he will talk to you um, I think that's because when I first got him and he left oh no he's getting he's hunting the hair tie he's gonna bring that to me so um, yeah he's very talkative which I love I love talkative at cats okay Maybe he went to his food bowl. I don't know. Um, he's gone. So <laughs> and the next question is favorite memory. Let's see. A couple of my favorite. He's eating. That's what he's doing. Um, so I'll just show you his toys. <laughs> um, a couple of my favorite memories with him are probably, one is when we first brought him home and we thought he was crazy. Uh, so we first brought him home, and normal cat behavior, of course, checking out the house and all that fun stuff, but the, he was doing it with his mouth open, and at the time, I didn't know that helped cats, like, s smell things better. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. I didn't know that, uh, 
helped cats smell better. I had no clue. Um, so I just thought this herp burp of a cat was uh, walking around the house with his mouth open. Like, I'm like, oh great, do we need to take him to bed? Is he, like, dying? What's going on? No, he was fine. He's not wanting to come on the bed and be cute. So I'm going to throw a toy and hopefully he'll come. <laughs> He's like, that was lazy, Mom. Throw a different toy. There he goes. Maybe he'll bring that to me. Um, nope. Nope. Absolutely not. 100% not. Um, what was I talking about? Weird quirks? Yeah. Yeah, weird... No, favorite memories. Um, that's definitely one of my favorite memories because I thought he was possibly an insane kitty but he's definitely much more insane than I thought he is I thought he was at the time he's goofy and then um when he first met Alex he was just kind of like what is this man what is this other human I didn't like him and when he first learned how to how to chase the hair ties and now I kind of regret it because that's all he wants to do um, and then I think the last question is nicknames. He's, well, you can see your little ears. Uh, he's got a couple nicknames. Uh, Butt Nugget being one of them. Uh, Fluffernuts being another. Uh, Babu is another one. And then Asshole. <laughs> Every time he spills a cup of water over, he's an asshole. Aren't you? See, he responds to that. Alistair and Asshole. I, of course, mean it in the best sense. I do not think my cat's an asshole most of the time. He's going to jump on the bed. <gasps> Yay! You came back. You came back. My voice cracked. Oh, my God. He wants to play with my tablet. You're such a naughty boy. You're such a naughty boy. But, yeah, that's basically the questionnaire. Or the pet profile. So, I want to tag some people. I want to tag my friend Esri and her bunny Bailey. Um, because I love her bun and love learning about her bun because uh, it's it's such a little shit and then I would like to tag my cr friend Kristen and her dog Rosie because Rosie is also a little shit and I love little shit animals um, but yeah and he's gone